National Employers Association of South Africa says it is not bound by the recent wage agreement that was reached between metal workers uh, uh, NUMSA and SIFSA. The Metal Workers Union and the Engineering Association agreed to a 6% pay hike. Uh, NIASA is concerned the increase may be unaffordable for members whose businesses are much smaller. Well, to explain a little bit further, we are joined by NIASA's chief executive, uh, Gerard Papenfus, uh, who he joins us now to give us more details. Gerard, a good afternoon to you. Thank you so much for joining us. I think you've already seen the steps that NUMSA has essentially taken here, saying that you too, as a smaller association, need to abide by that deal that has been reached and taking um, that matter all the way up to the Labour Minister Tulas Nlesi as well. Why can this deal not work for your members? It's, uh, I just want to put it right. We're not a smaller association. Our, uh, our, uh, we are representing businesses uh, in all industries. Uh, we are uh, 10 times the size of CIFSA which has entered into this deal with NUMSA. Uh, in the steel industry alone, where CIFSA is, uh, steel industry is their only uh, territory, we are almost double the size of CIFSA. So that is, when you refer to as a smaller body, simply not true. CIFSA represent 10% of employers in the steel industry. This is the organization with whom uh, um, NUMSA have signed a deal, 10%. The 90% of employers are outside of the deal. So, so why, what, what's our position? Well, we say that um, uh, it is for each and every business to determine a wage. We do not believe in a one-size-fits-all approach. Uh, you cannot sit in Johannesburg uh, where a big business makes a wage uh, within uh, the Johannesburg typical business environment, which is good. But then tell a little business in a Karua what they must pay their employees. That is not sustainable. And this is the Sipsa Numsa deal. We say, and we've recommended a wage uh, increase uh, to businesses. They've implemented that, uh, those that can. And many of them have as, 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 uh, as, uh, have, um, introduced increases far beyond what even they, uh, Numsa and, and, and Sipsa has agreed. But we say, a business, only a business can determine the wage for its workers. Nobody else can yeah. because each business uh, situation is unique. Um, will NIMSA though, be able to force this? Yeah, yeah. so I want to I let you finish that thought because I want to bring in the fact that NUMSA is essentially steadfast in their battle um, with yourselves and, and uh, your members as well. You've got... Um, uh, Ivan Jim, essentially, from NUMSA, who said that they're not going to accept the pushback that you're giving them. I mentioned that they've gone all the way to the Labour Minister. What, what then do you do if you see them uh, try to impose a strike on some of your workers as well? Well, they can, if they can do it. I mean, that's, that's their decision. They hurt their own workers. We're not going to uh, do that. It's end of story. And I tell Mr. Uh, you can tell Mr. Dima, well, if I'm geeky, you will hear it. Uh, and I'm saying this is not going to happen. Uh, we're not going to budge. Uh, he will not extend that deal to him. He can, t he can go to the Minister of Labor, the Labor, and we will oppose that extension and we will succeed because they don't have the figures to extend that agreement to the remainder 90% of the employers in the industry and employees. Yeah. But to, to talk for him to talk about those employees outside of this deal as as employees subjected to slave slave labor is purely nonsense this is not true um the the fact that you're not falling under their deal doesn't mean this em, em, employees are underpaid we are struggling this industry is not growing anymore and this is because we through litigation stopped this type of uh, deal making between numsa and uh, cifsa in 2011. we've we've succeeded in stopping this type of extension since then it's 10 years now and we will continue to right. stop it all right so yes he can do whatever he wants that's what's going to happen well we're, we're going to see that continued tug of war of course but thank you so much for speaking to us chief executive of niasa